the Mieti Ala Association of Nigeria, Makban, you know, reacts to killing of Fulani travelers in Jos, Plateau State. The Mieti Ala Cattle Breeders Association of Nigeria, Makban, has condemned the ambush and killing of commuters at Rukuba Road in Jos. It can be recalled that criminals on Saturday attacked a convoy of buses conveying commuters, killed 22 persons and injured scores. Mark Ban, in a statement by its National Secretary, Baba Uthman Ngezama, on Sunday in Jos, said the whereabouts of some of the commuters was yet to be ascertained. The ambush, which occurred around 10 a.m., also left several commuters wounded why 40 others remain unaccounted for the travelers were in a convoy of four buses when they were attacked magban condemns this selfless violence on travelers we urge security agencies to fish out the perpetrators of these dastardly acts and bring them to justice he said in gilzama commiserates with families of those who lost their lives and those who injured he said there could be no winner in this senseless violence and that the cycle of bloodshed must be stopped. These the attacks, you know, have been condemned by several, including the Christians Association of Nigeria, Khan, State Governor Simon Lanlong, the uh, governor, has since instituted a coffee in the state to prevent reprisal attacks and a possible breakdown of law and order. Hmm. So they are preventing a reprisal as an attack, you know, to create war. But they cannot stop those Fulani headers that are killing and rampaging themselves, maiming, kidnapping, you know, raping, you know, and doing all sorts of uh, things and committing all sorts of atrocities, especially killing your fellow man. Now the governor is yet to, you know, declare a coffee. Or better still, arrest those that are involved. If it were to be in the south, hmm, they will quickly, sharply, you know, you know, catch innocent people. Let me put it that way, and proscribe them as indigenous people of Biafra because they said those are the people that are disturbing the peace of the southeast. That Namde Kano, you know, has been the one leading the Eastern Security Network. That is an illegal security outfit. So they could just fast, you know approach and quickly you know arrest you know innocent people and proscribe them as uh, criminals but now in the northern part of the country they are the ones that created those you know demons and they are the demons are haunting them and they are you know shying away from their responsibility and saying some simon landlord has since instituted a coffee in the state to prevent reprisal attacks and a possible breakdown of law and order um, I don't well if I would say in my opinion I don't support coffee but rather I support you know to if I support the arrest of those that have perpetrated such evil and they will tell us they don't have equipment or they don't have a uh, surveillance intelligence surveillance on how to locate those that you know committed those crimes I know the government are shying away from their responsibilities they don't want to spend more money they don't want to you know work they don't want to get themselves busy and meanwhile they have been paid salary security votes uh, are there the security agencies that huge amount of money has been spent or allocated for them now this is your work you are not ready to do the job if it was if it was to be the other way around if uh, that if it was to be that Christians were the ones killing Muslims, or rather, uh, the Fulani elders were the ones that are killed, or Fulani people were the ones that are, have killed or are killed. I believe the federal government will raise, you know, his uh, his, his uh, uh, shoulder, so will raise his eyebrow and start, you know, arresting in any innocent people they see. That's a problem we have in this country you know because it has been said that the country which is uh, which we have adopted democracy there is no true federalism there is no you know true uh, uh, sincerity in the, the Bavaria administration 
because that will say that it is the Fulani people that are ruling and this is government of the Fulani for the Fulani and by the Fulanese. Hmm. Well, no ethnic groups or community that will do this to Fulanese and ever know peace in this life. The Hebrews and Christians should be aware of this evil act because even if it takes 100 years, Fulani must avenge this evil act and when it will happen, the Hebrews and Christians will not allow media to rest. Okay, this person is saying that uh, the Fulani community that will do this to Fulani no ethnic groups or community that will do this to Fulanis and ever know peace in this life. The Hebrews and Christians should be aware of this evil. Okay, this person is saying rather that the Fulani people were the ones that were killed. And no Fulani in this country will ever have peace. Adamu, ego eta, extraordinary. Let's know the connection between killing of Fulanis in Jaws and in the Igbos. It's just now an ego town. Okay. I have said it. If we were to be in the Igbo a town, they would have arrested whoever needed to be arrested, either innocent or guilty. They were going to where they were contracted to go and carry out attacks against the indigenous people before information got to people that attacked them. Hmm, maybe that must have you know necessitated the attacks. What is about to happen in Nigeria, but God will not allow it to happen. Adamu Abdulumu, you be idiot to with cow brain. So just is now Eastern region Abi Wawakarai. Okay. Well, it is about time some educated Fulani persons inform their leadership that they cannot fight the old Nigeria natives. It is timely for them to seek peace and happiness with their host communities. Otherwise, they face extinction in nigeria just like the people they are currently oppressed please where are the nigeria security intelligence and does it mean that the traditional and political institution of the era and area are not aware of this gruesome plan no we can't believe it at least the traditional institution must be responsible for this and they must be removed and prosecuted so who is going to prosecute them as the question who is going to prosecute who is it the uh, Buhari administration that has you know the em uh, emblem of the Fulanese in all power status the Nigerian security uh, are just hypocrites when it comes to fighting insurgency and banditry or criminality they are not even ready to fight you know back or to to, to make sure that you know justice prevails and that's where the challenge comes from because nigeria is i don't know how adjective or what adjective to use but uh what's it called namdekan has already said it that nigeria is a zoo and when you mention zoo buhari and his cohorts will be angry and meanwhile they are behaving like cow because they are the full and people are the ones you know leading or ruling us and now can you see what is happening in Nigeria?